Welcome to today's 3D print. I have a couple of more prints to show you. Um, first up, my buddy who's helping me out here, um, Sean, he wanted a prop for his girlfriend. His girlfriend really likes Harley Quinn and he wanted Harley Quinn's cork gun. So I downloaded Harley Quinn's cork gun and printed that. I printed this whole thing, all these pieces, all at once, including splitting the revolver portion here, this this the hand grip portion of the um, the toy in half. So I won't need any. I need very little supports. I needed a little bit of support for the, I think this here, and I think, oh, and this little here, this little bracket where the parts connect. That was it. Very very little support. And um, this was printed on the JG Maker A5S, all in one go. I put all the pieces on the print bed and printed them all in one go, no problem. Um, this even has some moving parts, so this opens up and you can take off the revolver portion and you can take out the little shells. I had to sand them down a little bit to make them fit right, but otherwise they fit in there good, just like that. I want to reprint these in red and gold because they would look like the little 410 shotgun shells that they are. I just think that would be fun. I did cover this pin in CA in order to strengthen it up a little bit because of course that's printed vertically so it's going to break very easily. But I think next time I'll just put a nut and bolt through here and have the bolt be that long and then you won't have that strength problem. Um, the cool thing is it revolves which is pretty cute. Nothing moves or anything it's just it's just a, like a prop you'd hang up on the wall. So she'll paint this and everything and put all the designs on it. The red here and the little marks for the kills here and stuff like that. An idea I got is um, denture rubber bands. So you can maybe hook it onto here and here. Get some black denture rubber bands and you can hook that on there so that'll hold together. And then you just pop the rubber band off and then this will open. And right now there's nothing to actually hold that latch shut. So you do want to be careful not to break this. Even the little screw heads are printed as separate pieces. So you print these little itty bitty screw heads and you just glue them in place. The little hand grip is an extra printed piece, which really gives it a lot of nice depth. Um, it's a For a simple model, it's a surprisingly nice model. So I might do this again and do a little more advanced work on it, make it a little nicer. I have a couple of ideas for how I can really go at it, just to make something really cool looking. So that's that. I will post a link down below on Thingiverse where you can find this. And then something I made up, um, another friend of mine, um, James, needed some stencils. So I said, no problem. Again, this was printed on the JG Maker A5S. It had no problem printing them. I printed it in four pieces because he wanted this size. So he needed something for Beach Hill Kennels. So I made these stencils so he can put these on the sign and then paint on top of them and get the lettering that he needs perfect every time so it looks nice and professional. They're nice and thin, I think they're only five or six layers thick. And I did explain to him that they are PLA so he does need to keep them stored flat. Ideally in, for example, like a book. Um, you know, or books on top of them, keep them nice and flat so that they will stay flat when you go to paint with them and to keep them out of hot cars in the sun because you know, it's PLA. But yeah, it took uh, about what, four and a half, five hours for each set of two pieces. I then used CA glue from Starbond. Starbond sent me a couple samples of their glue, and I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with the odorless CA. Um, it's thin. I do wish they would make at least a medium in the odorless, and a thick in the odorless would be great, but it really is odorless. It doesn't smell. That's amazing. Usually CA is like, <laughs> You get a whiff and you hit your eyes and you're just like, ah. But uh, this stuff, no smell. I'm impressed and it appears to be holding up well. No issues. It works great on plastic. Um, I used a, a couple dabs of thick just to hold them together. And then I whipped the thin into the joint and it appears to have really done a good job holding them together. I also used my Bob Smith accelerator on it because I like the smell better. The Bob Smith doesn't stink as much and it did not react violently. Some CAs will react violently when you glue them together and that's no good, you don't want that. Um, but yeah, good stuff. And um, well, 
there's nothing really to post for these. These were custom one-offs. I basically made a, a block in Tinkercad and then I created text in Tinkercad and I used that text as a whole and cut through the part with a couple of changes. For example, I removed from the text little sections like this section here on the E. I removed that which means that section is now intact on this stencil. Same thing with the B. I cut a line through the letter. Basically the E's, the B, and the E's. That's it. Everything else was good. But those letters, you can't just use them normally because otherwise this little piece of the E and this little piece of the B would just be a piece floating in midair. And it would just fall away. There's nothing to hold it. So you basically have to add your own model tree your own little bit there to hold those bits in place so they actually stay. And so I did that in Tinkercad as well. Basically I just erased this, this, and this from the B's and the E's in the letters before I then use the letters as a cut. So the letter needs to be continuous all the way around and all these islands need to be connected to the outer skin because otherwise they won't work properly. You can either leave that there or you can then you just take a paint and fill that in after you've painted your stencils onto the um, sign or whatever you're doing. But that's a, a, a pretty simple process to do in Tinkercad. Maybe I'll make a video one day of how to do that, how to make these stencils. Ideally, you would want this beveled, but hopefully it's thin enough that he won't have a problem. He should be able to spray paint or brush and it shouldn't be a problem as long as he makes sure he gets all the corners. But that's it, I made that for him. And I will post links for these files down below. I hope you guys enjoy them. Hopefully I'll have new content coming soon as I get moved into the new place. So stay tuned for more.